What's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to download and install the Google Chrome browser on your Google TV. Over here is my Google TV and just so you know, to properly use the Google Chrome browser on your Google TV, you will definitely be needing a mouse. But of course, I'm going to take you through all of the process to properly set up the Google Chrome browser and use it on your Google TV. So first things first, you want to head over to the settings of your Google TV over here, click on the settings and then you want to scroll down to system over here click on system and then you want to scroll down to about over here click on it and at this point you just want to scroll down until you get to android tv os over here go ahead and click on this android tv os build over here for seven times which will enable the developer options for us to now be able to sideload the google chrome browser into our google tv and as you can see i am now a developer over here so go ahead and press yours for seven times to become a developer as well and now you want to go back to the previous option and if you come down here you can literally see that the developer options has been turned on for our google tv now once that is done you want to come back to the home of your google tv scroll down to the app section and then just come over to this search input feed over here and then you want to go ahead and search and download the app known as downloader it's a very popular app so just go ahead and search for downloader and make sure that you download and install this downloader app by aftv news over here so go ahead and click on the install button now once the app is installed you want to go ahead and open it up directly from here by just clicking on the open button over here and now on your downloader app that basically looks just like this what you want to do is to head over to this mps feed over here so just use your remote control to scroll over to the top and then you want to go ahead and enter the following url bit.li forward slash cccctv actually there are five c's in that particular url so just go ahead and enter it just the same way it is on my tv over here and once that is done you just want to scroll down and then click on this enter button over here now this will redirect you to the page or website where you can now download and install the google chrome browser apk into your google tv now what you just want to do is to scroll down just like so and then you want to go ahead and click on download google chrome browser apk over here and now the google chrome browser apk will automatically start downloading into your google tv and once it is done downloading it will automatically start installing itself into your google tv now what you just want to do is to go ahead and click on settings over here to give downloader permission to install apps from unknown sources into your google tv so go ahead and turn on this permission for the downloader app into our google tv then go ahead and click on install now to now successfully install the google chrome browser app into your google tv go ahead and click on done just like so and then go back to the previous option and now you want to go ahead and delete this apk file because it is no longer needed we already have the app on our google tv and now you want to come over to the home of your google tv now you will actually find out that from the list of apps on your google tv over here the google chrome browser it's not found on the list of apps over here to open up the app you actually have to go over to the settings of your google tv but towards the end of this video i'm going to show you how to still add it to the list of apps over here on your google tv so what you want to do to open it up is to simply scroll over to the settings of your google tv over here just like so click on settings and now you want to scroll down until you get to apps over here click on it and then you also want to scroll down and then go ahead and click on see all apps over here and from here you're going to see the google chrome browser over here on our google tv now you just want to go ahead and click on it and then click on open just like so and now we have the google chrome browser running smoothly on our google tv now like i said before you can't actually use the google chrome browser without a mouse on your tv so in my case i basically have this mouse over here with a usb-c dongle over here so i'll be going ahead to connect the usb-c dongle over here to my tv also if you have a bluetooth mouse you can go ahead and just connect your bluetooth mouse to the google tv and it's going to work perfectly well for you now finally to be able to add the google chrome browser into the list of apps on your google tv what you just want to do is to go ahead and open up this downloader app again on your google tv and then you just want to scroll over to the home tab over here so just scroll over to the top and then come over to home over here and then you want to just scroll over to this particular input field again and then you want to go ahead and change the letters after the forward slash to s c c c c c and c in six places this is basically a custom url that will take us to the website where we can now download the app to create google chrome shortcuts on our google tv so just go ahead and enter this url just the same way it is on my tv over here 
and then go ahead and click on the enter button just like so so just scroll down just like so and then go ahead and click on download over here now you want to go ahead and click on install and now you just want to scroll down to see more details over here and then go ahead and click on install anyways and now go ahead and click on done now go ahead and delete this apk file because we no longer need it as usual and now if you come over to the home of your google tv you can now see the google chrome browser over here on your google tv so basically that is how to download and install the google chrome browser on your google tv if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one